Hey, lucky dog. How are you? Welcome. I'm here at Smith Point. Thank you for joining. Hello to you. Boy, what an ocean today. Really up there today. Uh, probably uh, mid-range tide right now. I think we're, we're between a quarter moon and a new moon, so this this might be a high tide period right now, but as high as it will get. Actually, if we look at the sand here, you can see where the waves had come in a little earlier, right? They, they had come in, uh, it's wet here ahead of me. They've been higher by another 30 feet or so. Oh, this is more like the Atlantic Ocean of January here. Can't believe the size of the waves today. Well, I can believe it. Certainly can believe it. I'm here seeing it. Uh, the waves on the outer bar have to be uh, 12 to 15 breaking out there. We'll take a walk back toward the uh, ranger station. Yeah, they certainly do. It adds quite a bit to it. There's a pretty stiff breeze out of the west-northwest right now. Although the air temperature is probably in the f high 40s. The wind chill has it in the 30s. But we have time for a short walk here. Just make sure we don't get hit with a rogue wave that runs up the beach here. This is not the time to get wet feet. We have a few people walking today, which is nice. Always good to see that. Whoa, whoa, look at this. <laughs> Let me back up. That's what I'm talking about. Had to run backwards there for about 20 feet to escape that way of coming in. <laughs> so, I would say the tide is coming back in. And I, hi, folks. I don't have my stabilizer with me today. I'm just carrying the iPhone by hand in the, in the landscape mode. So the picture is going to be a little more uh, jitter to it, shakiness to it. I didn't bring the uh, gimbal stabilizer with me. Lucky dog, I did a uh, video of the uh, train coming into Mastic, but that was not a live broadcast. so. When I get home in about another hour, I'll post that up on my YouTube channel. Train 8710 coming into Mastic today. Mastic Shirley. I love to see the ocean like this. In the, this time of year. We don't want it like this in the summer, though, do we? You see what's happening now, of course, you got these giant rollers coming in from the south, and with the wind out of the north-northwest, when the waves break, the white water gets curled back uh, to the south. So. That makes for some very dramatic footage here right now. We 
just stand here and watch it for a while. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit out here without destroying this video. See how the waves are cresting 500 feet or so out there? And then the wind catches the, the uh, surf and it, it curls it back toward the direction that the waves came from. Look at some of these coming in now. Wow. These are 10 footers coming in on the beach now. All right, let's step down from that. We'll continue our walk along the beach here. The sun is nice and warm. Once you're out of the wind, it, it's very comfortable here today, right now. Oh, look at this one coming in. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Whoa. <laughs> that one almost got me. I had to run away from that one. Gosh, just let me turn uh, toward the sun right now to the southwest. Look at the lighting effects there, Lucky Dog, with the cloud pattern and the light pattern on the water. Isn't that terrific today? I think we'll stay right where we are right now because uh, the last two examples of the waves running all the way in to the point where we're walking here, I don't think I'd be able to outrun the next one coming in. Welcome viewers. This is the Atlantic Ocean Beach Fire Island National Seashore here at Smith Point, Suffolk County, Long Island, New York. And we're walking along the beach of what the area that is known as the Otis Pike High Dune Wilderness. Oh, let's just stop and watch these waves coming in now. You are getting some huge waves rolling in now. I doubt if the live video can do it justice. There are walls of water coming in there. There had to be the rollers breaking our 10 foot, 10 to 12 foot height, if not more. We'll walk up a little further before we end the broadcast and we'll just pan around the uh, view of the ocean again.
Yeah, look how that one ran in quite a bit. Remember the last time we walked here, we were walking uh, another 100 feet out further at super low tide. What was that, last weekend? I did this walk and uh, the ocean was really way out at the, at the uh, full moon tide. We'll let nature do the talking right now. Right, I'm walking east along the shoreline here, along the beach, at the east end of the Fire Island National Seashore right where it ends and where Smith Point County Park begins just up ahead Suffolk County Bathing Beach just get up a little further so I don't get sandbagged by a rogue wave here because I want to turn around and show you the dunes and the, the visitor center and the ranger station here. Okay, that's looking at the visitor center ranger station. This is to the north. Here you see the primary dune line. And we'll pan around to the west, looking back up Fire Island and back toward New York City. So this is pretty much looking west. And this is looking southwest out over the ocean. And this is to the south. So the fetch today is out of the south, slightly east of south. Thank you for joining. Okay, good folks, thanks again. Uh, hope you enjoyed this short broadcast. I'll have segments of this video up on my YouTube channel in a couple of hours. Uh, there's some parts that I recorded that I did not broadcast, and we'll splice those together for a uh, video of the walk down behind the dunes. We look for that. YouTube channel is JKR Specnet, all one word. You can also find me at Redstone Soldier. Lucky dog, thanks for staying with me today, all this this, this time. And uh, we'll see everybody again on our next broadcast. So take care, folks.